Today I'm going to be opening the top three cheapest Elite Trainer boxes that are at least five years old to see if we can get some insane pulls for a good price. It's going to be at least a Halloween here. Oh! 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 Oh my god, the best pull of the video! Wow! Okay, can we get one more big pull? In three, two, one. These are three Elite Trainer boxes that have been out of print for over five years. They're also the cheapest products that you could find for sets that are this old. So let's open up all three of these boxes to see if we get some crazy hits for an affordable price. So we're gonna start off with one of the oldest and cheapest boxes that you could possibly find. This is Sun and Moon base set, released in the year 2017, and you can find boxes of these for as cheap as $50 each. But you still can get some crazy hits in this set. I mean, look at all these cards. There's the Lily Full Art, there's the Umbreon Rainbow, there's also an Espeon Rainbow, there's a bunch of gold cards, there's an Umbreon Full Art, and the list goes on and on. And I think that they randomly reprinted this, like, not too, too long ago. Like, it came out of nowhere all of a sudden. So I think that's also another reason why these are so cheap. But you can find these online. There's been a bunch of sales for as low as $50. And let's see exactly what you get in here. So we're going to pull that open. And then these are kind of old school, man. They don't make it like this anymore. Um, but you do get the pamphlet in here. So it's going to say all the information on here, all the cards and stuff that you can pull from the set. And they have it where they still had this little like piece of cardboard down there for some reason. Let's get that off of there. And then let's pop the top and see what we got inside. Before we move any further, I wanted to let you guys know that I'm going to be giving away every single card to one subscriber here on the channel. So make sure you enter the giveaway by number one, smashing the like button. Number two, make sure you subscribe the channel with notifications on and then number three leave a comment down below in the comment section this is a mess dude you can tell this is old school based off of like how messy these got so the older ones they just like felt they fall apart i don't know what happened but uh we got the so this is the base set the soul galio sleeves here these are pretty cool you get those in there um you also get the classic stack of energy cards you do get a code card as well but like yeah a bunch of these from the sun and moon era just i don't know what happened when they were putting these together but they, they did something wrong and a lot of them fall apart over the years this is uh, the dividers here. These are also pretty nice. What else do we have? There's not going to be a promo card in here, uh, but we do have the dice, which are unique. And then we have, oh, the GX badge. We're going back. Then, of course, we have all of our booster packs. There should be eight in there, hopefully. Better be eight here. So we got two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we do have eight. So eight packs in there. So all of that for around $50. Let's start off here with the first pack. This was released in the year 2017, so... February, actually, wait, I think it's almost been exactly six years ago. I'm going to double check that in a second. Well, there's a code card. That's a green code card. So probably not going to have any pulls on this first pack, but let's just check it out. So Gramble, Double Colorless Energy. We got Makuita, Snubble, Rattata, Sandow. We got Paris and a non holo So that's crazy. This set was actually released February 3rd, 2017. So that's exactly six years ago. So let's go. We got the code card there. We're going to go four from the back on this one. So a set that's six years old, exactly six years old, that you can get an entire box, an entire Elite Trainer box for $50, which all the new sets now, like, I feel like you're probably pushing at least $50 for most of the ETBs for a brand new set. And this was definitely printed before there was, like, a, a big spike in, like, I don't know, popularity in Pokemon cards again. There was the Pokemon Go phase, which it was, it, it brought, like, a lot of people back in, but there was nothing... It's not even comparable to like 2020, 2021, when it just started getting absolutely crazy. More like, was it 2021, I think? Yeah, I think it was more like 2021. Now, one thing with a lot of these older sets is the pull rates can be a little bit tricky, right? So, I don't know. We haven't even gotten a single holo yet. Um, we're on our, what, fourth pack now? So, let's see if we can get something crazy here. But for 50 bucks, I mean, we got a shot at getting some really nice cards, and we don't have any yet. But we're going to get to the bottom of this. We're going to see if this is going to be worth it or not here. Um, there's also two other Elite Trader boxes that you guys saw in the probably in the intro of the video. So I'm excited to see those two. I'll tell you how much each of those boxes are as well. But all these are from the Sun and Moon era. We got Eevee, and we got another. Oh, oh my God. Should we have left this box in the trash? <laughs> what is happening right now? Not even a hollow. That's a bad sign. Oh, man, maybe there's a reason that these are only $50. I don't know. Like, the pulls, the cards you could get are pretty cool. Like, you got to say, like, some of those cards earlier uh, in the Sun and Moon era, there's some nice ones. But can we get them? Bro! And I think packs of Sun and Moon base are probably around maybe $5 a pack at this point. Something like that. I don't know. Oh, my God. Okay, wow. So $50, and uh, we haven't gotten any... Not even a single. Some of the, I don't know when you guys start collecting, but some of the stuff, man, it, it, some of them cards are so hard to pull back in the day. Like, they won't give you anything. Oh my God, we finally got a, we got a hollow. It's a miracle. Oh man, okay. Well, uh, we need some last pack magic on this Sun and Moon base set. It ain't looking good right now for us. 
give us something here. But yeah, after this box, we're going to move on to the next one. Oh, wow. Okay, I didn't expect it to start off like this. I honestly thought we were going to get at least a couple like GXs or something. But man, brutal. Give us something. Another regular hollow. So we just got two hollows. This is in the Wizards of the Coast era. Like, we're just... <laughs> Hollows are still not that good. Next up, we have Sun and Moon Crimson Invasion. And this box can be bought for as little as $45. And again, there's still some really nice cards. Like the Rainbow Gyarados is speaking to me. I need to pull that. Um, there's a bunch of full art trainer cards. There's a full art Gyarados card. And then there's a whole bunch of rainbows and gold cards in here. This was also released in 2017. You're going to get all the goodies in here as well. So $45? I mean, like, you can't even get... I guess, like, the modern newest sets maybe are around that price for an ETB. But yeah, same thing, get the player's guide, you know, all, all the information on the cards that you can pull and everything. And then let's see what we get inside here. Let's see what's all messed up again. See, bro, I don't know what happened. They were messing up on some stuff back in the day. Uh, it's not even that long ago, five, six years ago. We got our sleeves there. You're going to see, like, the standard stuff that you get. Man, they are really... Oh, there's five in this one. Maybe we were supposed to get five in the other one. I don't know. I think there was four in that one, though. You got the energies here. Nobody cares. Uh, you got the code card. Like, nobody wants to see energies, bro. Nobody wants to see... Ooh, that's actually kind of fire, though. That GX badge kind of cool. Um, what else? Oh, yeah, and then the dice. Very nice. Okay, and that's it. And then we're going to have, hopefully, eight packs again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Crimson Invasion. Ain't no way that this can do as bad as, as base set. Look at that. Right off the bat, I see a good color. That's a good good code card color. Okay, there's going to be at least a hollow in here. We got we gotta get better. We had a better luck than on base set. I mean, come on, base set. That was the worst of the worst pulls you could ever get. Two hollows. Red rock. Boom, baby. A lowland executor GX. Not the best, but still remember. $45 what we paid for one of these boxes. Booster pack number two. Let's see what we get here. I gotta remember the code cards are facing the other ways on oh, the other way on these, which is like it's completely different when you're opening up different sets because you don't want to really show the code card color because you want to keep the suspense going. Like, I don't want to know what's in every pack. Like, that just ruins the surprise. Like, hey, by the way, I got you this for your birthday. No surprise there. Oh, my. We see. Look at that. We just got our birthday ruined. Um, let's just go straight through this one because, again, when that happens, usually there's nothing. Pack number four now. So, okay, we don't. We, we want to go like this, right? We want to go like that. I'm really not used to opening packs up like this. Um, okay, let's go. So, Psychic Energy. Let's see what we can do here. We got Houndor. Carablast. Type no. Ooh, Salazzle Dazzle. All right, whoa. Where are we going? Where are we going? So, Crimson Evasion is our second to last box. And then we got one more set. And, uh, actually, the last one is technically the most expensive ETB. So, I'm curious to see if that one's going to be way better or not. Magikarp. We got Pikachu, Mischievous, Spoink, Ghastly. Bro, look at that wiggly top. Only three packs left? Oh my god. No! I saw it again! What is with this? I'm still gonna do it in case there's some sort of... I don't know. We saw it happen plenty of times before, but... I don't think there's gonna be anything, to be honest with you guys. There's some nice artworks for the non hollows and stuff, but like... Second to last pack, and um... It's not... It hasn't been that much better... Than uh... Than the Sun and Moon base. Like... what? I don't know. I, I, it's harder. It's hard to remember the pull rates on stuff. Well, there you go. There's your pull. Oh, no, that wasn't even it. There's your pull. What is happening? I don't know what's happening. Is this what we can expect to get from boxes this cheap? I, I, I'm confused. I don't, I, I don't know. Like, we've opened a lot of packs right now, and I'm just feeling like, um, I'm feeling like we didn't get much of anything right now, and maybe there's a reason why these are so cheap, or we're just really unlucky. Um, I just can't remember. Like, opening sets this old, I, I don't know. The pull rates, I guess, are really bad our last elite trainer box and this one's a little bit more you could probably get these as cheap as 90 dollars a piece this is sun and moon guardians rising so the set list actually is not that bad i mean there's a sylveon rainbow which is pretty cool we got the nine tails rainbow as well the mallow floor and then a bunch of gold and rainbow cards but we gotta we gotta cough up a little bit more money for this one so not like 90 dollars maybe for for guardians rising but i mean can we maybe get better pull rates on this like, what are the pull rates looking like? I guess we're going to find out right now. But the same setup. You have your book here with all the, uh, well, here's all the cards, like the big hitter cards and stuff like that. And th whatever this thing is, whatever whatever that design was. And then, is it going to be messed up again? <laughs> well, there's your answer. Even weirder. I don't know. I don't know. But anyway, here's the dice. Here are the sleeves. We got the GX. Okay, these are a little different designs. Some of them, the GX badges look a little different and then 
There's the code card randomly in there, and then now we only have four of these again. Okay. Not really sure what the deal is with that, but anyway, cool. We got the energies. <laughs> Nobody. Imagine if I went through the energies one at a time. You guys, you guys would probably not watch the video. I don't think. <laughs> okay. Eight packs. All right. This is our last chance to get some decent pulls here. The, I mean, I guess the, the second box was a little bit better. Um, ooh, okay. I almost forgot about the code card, how that set up. This one could be good. Let's get our best pull today so far. Fairy Energy is a, is a good way to start off. Um, let's make this box the best. Even though it's the most expensive, technically, Let's. I still want to get better pulls. Colossopod Hollow. It's, so, it's like night and day comparing pull rates to, like, sun and moon. Really, like, I guess early to, to mid sun and moon to uh, how... Sword and Shield is now with just crazy pull rates, trainer galleries left and right. Like, uh, yeah, man, it's kind of brutal opening up sets where you barely would get any pulls. Like, it's crazy. Honestly, like, even opening up stuff where the pull rates are not great, like, bad pull rates, to be honest with you, I feel like it was, like, a lot more boring opening up stuff. Like, it just, I don't know, like, you would only get hits, especially, like, trying to get a full art or a rainbow. Like, not as often. You'd just be going through packs and getting, like, non-hollows and just regular hollows. We actually got a Vickable GX. Okay. This is looking good now. Well, it's looking decent. Well, I'll put it that way. It's looking decent. But, I mean, out of these really cheap ETBs, we haven't got any full arts. We definitely haven't had any rainbows. We haven't had any gold cards. Uh, I mean, just not much. A couple GXs, but is not is that typical of Sun and Moon? I mean, it kind of is. Oh! Oh, oh, oh my God, the best pull of the video. Wow, you can, okay. I might be changing my mind a little bit. I'm going back and forth here on how I feel about this. So a sealed pack of Guardians Rising is still costs more than pulling that card, like straight from back. It's crazy, you know? I mean, there's, I guess there's a reason why this stuff is cheaper. But you still get some nice artworks, but it's just like the, the amount you pay versus what value you get out of it. Could you have just bought the cards that you pulled? And the answer on this is probably going to be yes. You could probably bought the cards for a lot cheaper. Like if we're just talking about the hollows, GXs, and the full arts, probably could have got all that for like six, seven dollars, realistically. And that's for all the boxes combined. So it's tough. It's tough out here opening up certain sets, even when they're cheap, a lot of times. There's, a, there's certain sets that you get a lot more value. And a lot of them are the Sword and Shield, the, the newer Sword and Shield sets, like the last six sets or so. Machoke and a Talonflame. But yeah, we only got two more packs left. Um, I guess the last... Uh, is the last box better, though? Because we had to pay, like, $30 more. <laughs> $30 more, though. That's, that's, that's the thing. That's the thing with this one. I don't know. Oh, Sharpedo. Either way, this was nice to kind of see what you could maybe expect to get. It, obviously, it all depends on luck, but the pull rates on Sun and Moon, earlier Sun and Moons especially, are a lot tougher. Um, let's see what we can do here on our last booster pack. Can we get one more big pull in three, two, one? Nope. All right, guys, you got to let me know down below in the comment section what you thought of this video. Also, smash the like button on your way out. If you want more content, click on one of the two videos at the top there. Hit that subscribe button as well. And as always, I hope you have a great day, and I will see you on the next one.